Kristen, hey John. Hi Matt and Elizabeth. Yeah, really windy, especially over the northern mountains. We're looking at a high wind warning in effect for the Sangre de Cristo Mountains where we can see winds gust in excess of 70 miles per hour through the afternoon hours. We also have wind advisories in effect for the San Juans and as well as the Jemez Mountains, the East Mountains and East Central New Mexico where we can see winds gusting in excess of 55 miles per hour. We're looking at some wind speeds in the teens for Tucumcari and Clayton and these will go up as we go through the day. Currently sitting in the 20s temperature wise in the metro with temperatures in the 30s down to the south and we're looking for temperatures to warm up with clear skies throughout the afternoon will make it into the 50s. We now know more about the man who was on a bike and hit by a car but police still have some questions about him. That tops your morning news place. So far police have not been able to find any relatives of the man who was badly hurt when a car hit him last week. They think Michael Ryan may be homeless. Police say he ran a red light and rode his bike right into the path of a car on Lomas Boulevard near I-25. It was all over money. State police say Justin Jordan stabbed Nathaniel Emmer to death, then barricaded himself inside a trailer in TRC on Monday. Officers say Jordan told them he killed Emmer because he owed him money for work he'd done cutting wood. Now he's charged with murder. Michael Astorga's second murder trial is now in the hands of a jury in Las Cruces. Astorga is accused of killing his buddy, Candy Martinez, after a fight about a car in 2005. A few months later, he killed Bernalillo County Sheriff's Deputy James McGrain. And saddle up, partner. There's a new Western TV series coming to town in March. A&E has ordered 10 episodes of the scripted drama called Longmire that will shoot in Santa Fe. And that does it for your Wednesday morning headlines.